you don't mind the shitty background, I'm doing this in my friend's basement. But here we have Pond and Stone Fish Safe um, Black Mortar. It's basically the spray foam. And then here we have Fish Safe Clear Silicone. And I put two paper towels down because we're only going to have our background so far down and then we're going to have a divider halfway through the tank. Um, here, get up overhead of the tank. And I'll start spraying, but um, you can see how it comes out just like this. I'm going to do a thin layer first and we'll be right back. paper towel. You can do this with an actual pot, you can do this with a piece of plastic, you can do this with all sorts of things. I'm going to uh, wind it down thin like this and I'm going to place it into my spray foam like that and I'm going to spray over the top of it. Get up and get an overhead angle here if you can. And basically I'll be able to tear this out later on and that gap will be open and I'll be able to grow plants out of that gap after I tear the um, paper towel out of place I'll be able to fill it with dirt and then foliage that will drape down over the plants or over the background all right we'll be right back all right this is a step that is optional this is where you have creative freedom zoom in and look at this right here you can see it has kind of almost already a stone look to it you can leave it like this if you want it to look rock on the background if you want if you want it to look smooth like this you can do that if you want it to look coarse you can kind of texture it with your fingers a little bit you can dance it up a little bit you can you can do all sorts of stuff with it if you want it to look a little bit more rocky and a little less moundy. Um, I feel smearing it around a bit makes it look a little bit more natural, but that's a personal preference. Uh, you can do what you want. Um, I'm going to rough it up on the top and leave it smooth on the bottom. That's just me. Um, today we aren't adding any waterfall features. If you were going to do that, you would have wanted to put the pipe down and stuff along those lines first. Um, there are plenty of videos on how to make waterfalls integrated into your backgrounds. Um, today we're not doing that. Today we're just making plants hang down and we are making a tank divider. But there's all sorts of different things you could do at this step. You could wait for it to harden a little bit and then you could press holes in it. Um, you can wait for it to harden completely and then you can carve it. You can do all sorts of things. Um, my plan for this right now is just to wisp it up and then if I feel a need to carve it a little bit after it's dried I'll do so but right now I'm just gonna play with it a little bit all right we're now at the point I can pull this out because this was just propping everything into place in order to give the rocks that like popping out effect I put supports in there but I can remove all the supports now all of the paper towel all of the stuff that was holding it up because the foam is hardened there's some more down there I should grab I can now carve out the foam and now that everything is solid you can see that the tank is divided. I'm gonna put meteor rock, this porous stuff in place. I have, I use clay balls in other vivarium setups, but we're just gonna be basic on this one and use the meteorite rock. I'd find that that works just as well, if not better. There's Chris in the background. Um, but we'll see what this looks like when it's done. I know that my shots look really ghetto right now, but stay tuned until the end. Okay, so like I said, right now I'm carving and I'm removing all of the um, paper towel. You could also use toilet paper, something easy to fill the space right here because that's where I'm going to put dirt and then grow foliage out downward. Like I said, here will be water, here will be land, and I'll, I'll get back to you. Alright, right now what I'm doing, I don't have the flash on. Let me see if I can turn it on. Alright, right now what I'm doing is, I should have wore gloves, look at my hands. I'm just going down here and I'm scraping out all of the, uh, the black stuff from the rocks so that it has that nice, like, 
poking out look. I know it looks kind of like a mess right now, but I'm just using a credit card to get everything out. And then we'll go over it with silicone and mulch after. Because we're ghetto setting this up, I just used an arrow. We're doing this on a beer pong table. I just used an arrow to uh, clear the hole where the air pump is going to go through for the water. Alright, we're in this ghetto ass basement right now. This is my hemorrhoid cream. No, I'm just kidding. This is a uh, animal safe, waterproof, sealant, clear silicone. That's what, that's what you want. Alright, we're going to bring this over here. We're going to make sure we have gloves that we can throw away because these are fucking ass after doing all of this stuff, and what we're going to do is actually, I'm going to turn it upright right now because this is such a dirty area, this is my friend's basement, um, I think it's probably smartest to apply silicone to the divider before the background, because the background doesn't need it as necessarily much as this does itself, what you're going to want to do squeeze that shit out of there as much as you can and get it all over everything and then once it's all over everything you use your hand to just kind of wipe it into place but we'll be right back all right as the semen comes out of the tip here um we're probably going to we're probably going to run out of silicone before we're done. Oh, look at that nut just drift right onto there. So basically, you're going to have to cover all of this. I just drizzle it on. Look at my hands right now. I, I drizzle it on, and then I just kind of fucking make sure it gets in every little crack and crevice. You've seen these videos a hundred times. This is, let's, let's see how this end result is. One minute. I'll, ta I'll take a couple short clips after this, but other than just sealing this with silicone and just doing this you can pour cocoa fiber or other things to stick into the silicone to make it look more lively but I like this bl this black background it looks very porous and very stone and it'll, it'll look this is for salamanders so this makes sense to me but I'm just gonna silicone up the entire seal and some of the background so there's no exposure to foam for the animals not that that is a bad thing that it's all animal safe but this is just how Traditionally, we do things like this. That's good. Alright, I'm editing that video right now. Here's the whole rack today. We need to clean that chameleon tank up there. Um, I have the light on the left side right now, but I usually keep it over here on the right. I just want the plants to stretch right now, but this video is about this tank! Alright. You can see a marbled newt just chilling there. <laughs> Broad day, doesn't give a fuck. We're gonna call this video From Ghetto to Gorgeous, because if you look at the beginning of the video to now, um, I'd say this is quite gorgeous. We need to clean the glass. Uh, I plan on taking these guppies out once they reproduce. I just want to get a bunch of little ones in there. And... I don't know, I gave this its first haircut yesterday, so you can tell it looks a little fucking chopped. But... It's quite beautiful. Um, you can see a lot of glare right now, but there's a lot of... Um, you can't. It's not really picking up on the camera. Let's see if, if when I turn the torch on it does. Yeah, you can see all the roots right here. That are growing through. Hopefully that'll thicken up over time. And, um, let's see. That flash is going to give us a little bit of added glare here and there, but I'm trying to see the best I can into here. It's pretty dirty fucking glass. Um, and let's do the lid look. Lid lift. Cool shit. Yeah, I know, that's pretty difficult. This could use a spritz. It's never easy to get a good camera angle of this tank, but if you're looking up real close and have one of these, it's quite a trip. Holy fuck, look at that. 
Yeah, no, this has grown in beautifully. And it's so fun to observe my fucking animals while under the influence of psychedelic drugs. <laughs> Especially with this magnifying glass that's an octopus tentacle. <laughs> oh boy.